Okay, here's phase one of the uh, Frankenstein quadcopter. Um, I unboxed the JIYI P2 controller. Um, I didn't figure you needed to see an unboxing. Yeah, it came in a cardboard box and I unboxed it. So anyway, um, get into my initial setup here. I uh, got the controller. I've got the, uh, the GPS hooked up. Trying to get a close view of this. There's the, uh, I guess you'd call it the uh, power supply, but uh, it'll do 2S to 6S. It's got the LED on it. Let's see if I can get some pretty close ups of how I've got it wired up. Um, I'm using an AR610 Spectrum receiver, and these are provided by the uh, manufacturer of the JIYI uh, Autopilot. Um, go ahead and hook up the software now and let's see what we got. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going here to my file system. I've got this under quadcopter tools and under flight controllers. That's the download. And there's the application. Let me go ahead and plug in the uh, USB to the autopilot. It'll go through blinking. Once it gets uh, done blinking, it should be connected to the computer as you heard. I'm running Windows 7 by the way. Okay, yeah, I do have communication. Well, it's a bright LED. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, start up the application. Do a connect. Okay, I'm now connected. Now I'll do a read. Okay, it shows that I'm going to do quadcopter in the next format, so that's correct. And we'll move over the radio controller. Let me get my radio. Okay, I have my uh, DX7. I already did the binding to it. Go ahead and turn it on. See if it uh, syncs up with my receiver, which yes, I got a solid LED. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, there you go. We're definitely bound to the, the receiver. And now then I'll go ahead. And uh, basically it's just acro setup on the radio. Um, you have to, channels five and six are your, are your channels for flight modes. Um, let's go ahead and do a read. Okay, so now we know we're communicating. And then uh, if you move the throttle, it goes up and down. Aileron, right, left, up, down. Here's your yaw, left, right. And then your switches. Put the switches. I put it on a three position switch. This should be. Headless mode and near stability mode. And then I set my uh, gear switch up for my return home. And there's your return home. I didn't get too detailed about it. It was pretty standard stuff. Um, if you've ever set up any quads, th this is all. If you had a QX, the blade one, the 350QX, it, it's, you know, basically real close to the same type settings. Um, I could go back in detail if you wanted me to explain it, but uh, the only thing I did is from reading the forms, um, I did notice that, like if you look at the aileron left and right, it still doesn't go all the way to the right. But I set all the uh, the travel to 125 percent because it was only moving about that much without it. So I went ahead and on the three channels. I didn't do it with the throttle, but with the elevator, rudder. And ailerons, I set them at 125 percent. Just from what I read on the forums, because this gives you more travel. Uh, I don't see it being a problem. You can also set your sport and soft filling here. I've already calibrated it, so I'm not going to go through that. But basically, you just hit calibrate. You move all your 
sticks and switches in the max positions to get a calibration. Um, the voltage, I'll take care of that whenever I get it hooked up because I can't really read it right now because I'm running off a of USB. Um, I did do the accelerometer calibrate, which is standard stuff. I mean, I'm kind of trying to make this simple and not go real detailed. Um, no need to. I mean, it, you can go out and get the JIYI uh, instructions on how to calibrate it, which is just basically turning it in all five positions that it'll lay flat, and uh, and it just steps you by which way to do it. All my tests are okay. My radio controller, accelerometer, barometer it says compass needs calibration, which I won't do that till it gets on the uh, quadcopter. I'm going to leave the gain at stock, and I'm just leaving it at a. It should be. A, it should be soft filling. I'll save that. I thought I already had that set, but okay. So anyway, that's the software. It is communicating. Um, I am running Windows 7 Enterprise. Um, it was pretty painless to actually set it up. Probably the only issue I had was with the uh, connecting the receiver to the flight controller. Uh, I had to kind of move these around or move my channels around to get them to match up with the software. It wasn't one, two, three, four as like from top to bottom. You have to match the aileron with whatever channel the aileron is on the flight controller. But as you can see in my software, that's all working correctly now. So anyway, next thing is moving on to uh, start doing the build on the quadcopter and getting this all mounted in it. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I thought I would go through the basic settings that I uh, have set on the uh, on my DX7. Um, basically, I went into the the model mode here kind of show you how my basic setup so I named it 450 quad it's model 5 um, basically this just tells that that's just the naming of it um, I've got it set, set up as a as a acro as you can see That's just a timer there, trainer, trainer. In my input selection, I've got auxiliary two switch. That's where I set it to my my flat. And all these are off. I got my uh, switch select as individuals. And that's pretty much all there is to the model. Whoops. Get out of this mode. Okay, now that I'm back in the standard one, we'll kind of go through those. Okay, as you can see, I've got my aileron set up as 125% on the travel. I did set it up with dual rates just in case. I'll default to zero. And you go through here. Oops. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do. Holding the camera and this. There's elevator, same thing. Rudder. Should be the same thing too. Yep. Okay. I don't know if you need any of that information, but anyway, I thought I'd go through it. Uh, there's how I've got my switches set, and this is following the software. And um, I'm a little confused about the elevator. I guess when I get it hooked up and do my first test, I'll fly it, find out. Um, to me, you know, flying airplanes and setting them up, when you pull down on the stick means you're, you're making the plane go up, and when you push up on the stick makes it go down, but according to the software, you should follow the up and down as the software stated. So I did the, the uh, reversing as according to the software. When I push the elevator stick up, it shows up on the software. Hopefully that's correct. That's the only one I got a question about. The right left is, is no question. Obviously the throttle's up down, so there's no question there. But there's how my basic switches are set up, which uh, channel 2, 3, 4, and 5 are reversed. Uh, channel 1's normal, throttle's normal is the only one, and channel 6 return home is normal. But the 
the other uh, four switches are, are reversed. Uh, I'm just matching up with the software. Um, the rest of it, uh, as far as my switches, there's my switch. I use my flat switch. So, as you can see, I'm at 100% mid and low. Which, basically, on this one, it says on, on the flat, it, it works for the switch. It's at normal, mid range, and land. And uh, that was working with the software, so that, that's where I left it. That's how I set up that, that switch. And that is the uh, flat switch, the three position right here. And then uh, my return home is just set up on my gear switch, which is that's return home, that's standard, which it shows on the uh, gear switch, it does that as well. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much all I've done as far as it will. We'll give her a flight test and, and see how that does. But I thought it would at least kind of help if you haven't set one up and get an idea how I've got my radio set up. Hopefully you can see this.